Some of you on this channel seem to be missing the point of this series. We're trying to find the least bad pizza in New Brunswick, and some of y'all are still commenting Greco. Behold, the reason we're on this quest. When I went to pick up these slices, they took them out of the cooler and stuck them in the microwave. Yeah, Little Caesars did better than that. So they took it out of the cooler, and they desecrated the New York slice by cutting it in half. Beans has a tumor. <laughs> the individual slices are put together somewhat better than their pizzas for home delivery. Kind of flat. And I can see by the grease smeared all over the box, this is significantly less greasy than the ones you would get for delivery. Maybe because this one was sitting around in the cooler and got reheated. What do you think, Bean? No. <laughs> this is why I only get subs. Now, I'm not sure if I should be more disturbed that people are commenting this is the best, or it implies that somewhere there's worse. That means that it's either um, people have just never had any other pizza, or they're somewhere just absolutely horrible. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with that one? It doesn't say, it, it's, an, it's not a triangle. <laughs> it bothers me. So, where do you rank this one? Once again, it's pizza, but it's, um, it's better than Costco, but worse than Little Caesars and Jack's. Greco is the whole reason we started this adventure, because it's greasy, it's overpriced for what it is, and apparently your slices just get reheated. I'm going to give this, I don't know, like a foot soldier out of a Michelangelo.